it is almost 1230 and I need to cook for you people I hate trains and this I think is the longest one I have ever seen <sighs> It's Friday! Hi ho! Keto family! Keto Kelly just getting her done, coming in. If you've ever seen one of these, you probably have a pretty good idea what I'm getting ready to do. Thank you for tuning in. And this is what we're going to make today. I got my music going. If it's too loud, I apologize. But, yeah, too bad. I'm playing it. I have a block and a half of Philadelphia cream cheese. I'm going to nuke it. About, I'm going to do 20 seconds and see where I'm at right there. Also, I have some of, let me show you, Chicken of the Sea, Premium Crab, it's the claw meat. This I think was about $7, it was $6.99 where I bought it. You can buy a smaller pack, they, they come in like individual packs, like you can buy the, the tuna fish, pre-made tuna fish in the packs. I don't know if it's chicken of the sea, but you can buy a smaller pack if you don't want to buy the whole thing. I am going to use this whole thing, one way or another. So let me see where I have had this sitting out for a little bit, so it has you know room temperature softened. Yeah. So I want it a little bit warmer because I want it to warm the nori sheets. Now, if you're not big into nori. You're not going to want to eat this. So, also I eat these as well. These are like amazing. The sesame and the wasabi ones are so good. Here's the stats on this. Two grams of carbohydrates for, uh, there's two servings in this. So there's two grams of carbs, one dietary fiber. These are so good, you guys. I love these. I love nori sheets. If you don't like nori, you're not going to like this stuff. Also, balsamic vinegar. This has five carbohydrates, two of which is sugar per one tablespoon. So you have to really read your stuff and make sure you're um, not going over on it. What do I got here? I got a teaspoon. So I'm going to put three of these in this block and a half. No, you know what? I'm going to try two, two teaspoons and then I'm going to taste it. Okay. Also, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic because I love garlic. And I'm going to add the crab. Another thing with this crab, when you make this dip, and I haven't done it on nori sheets before, I have made this dip for pork rinds. This is actually very very good uh, in my opinion very good if I can keep shit in here very good on or with pork rinds so I actually I'm gonna pause this for a second because I actually what I wanted to do is I wanted to make uh, some shredded lettuce as well to put on this so I'm gonna pause this for a second and I'll be right back so I, I picked, got some lettuce just some regular um, iceberg lettuce uh, I don't want to use that what do I want to use? I'll use this one. I'm just going to cut off a section of the lettuce. I'm going to try to do as thin as I can. Because I want to wrap this up in the nori with my crab meat. You know, just give it some substance. Set this off to the side. All right, let me get my bamboo mat. Get some nori sheets. La 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 la. Shiny side down. Let me 
get some of this. Oh, I should have probably tasted this. It's so good. So good. So the train, you guys, I think was the longest train I've ever seen in my entire freaking life. So I'm hoping that this will soften the nori sheet a little bit. If not, that's fine. I don't mind eating them crunchy, but chances of this so is already softening. I can feel it. So give yourself about a half an inch around the edges. And the fact that we have a bamboo mat should tell you how much we love sushi. All right, let me put a little bit of the lettuce in there. All right, let's get this pot of thawed. That's gonna squish out the edge there. Let me scoop that. So good. Yeah, there's one. I'm totally gonna eat more than one. So if you guys want to give this a try, it's, it's pretty damn good with pork rinds. If you're looking for something different, I suppose you could do it with tuna too, I suppose. But it, it's really awesome with the crab. Try to stay away from the imitation crab. That stuff is filled with crab. I am in like it's Friday. All right, let's get this rolled up. Did any of you guys try the uh, ham and cheese pin rolls? They were pretty good. It's pretty good. Also, I want to show you what I picked up because I hadn't eaten any of this in a long time. I drank any of this in a long time. And I wanted to see how I felt about it. So, man, is that sweet. That is sweet. All right, let me grab a plate. Hang on. I'm so disorganized today. All right, let's cut this. missing sushi which I totally am and I haven't had any since my daughter left for boot camp when I got really sick mmm that is really good even sprinkle some sriracha over the top of these put other stuff in there if you want so yes give this a try I'm gonna save the rest of this for later for pork rinds okay guys I'll come in a little bit later on and show you what I'm doing for dinner you might like this one. All right, guys, I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Welcome back. Welcome back. You know, Kelly's just getting it done. Get some stuff ready for um, my dinner, and this is what I'm going to do tonight. I have in my skillet right now drizzled olive oil, chicken breast, butterfly, seasoned with a little bit of garlic, some Italian seasoning, 
and some pepper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sear them off in the, the skillet first. And what I have here is, let me show you what I did. I picked up the Pick Sweet Farms asparagus spears. I picked up two packs of those. They've been sitting in my pan here thawing out. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to drizzle those with some olive oil. I'm going to sprinkle them with a little bit of garlic, some salt, a little bit more of the Italian seasoning, no luck, I don't want to overdo it, and some black pepper. What I'm going to do after I sear these, I got my oven set for 350, I'm going to sear these not cooking them all the way through because what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay them right on top of the asparagus. After I do that, I'm going to top them with some of the mazzetti. I'm going to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on the top and I'll cover it and I'm going to bake it. Toward the end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some provolone slices. I'm going to lay them over the top of the chicken and I'm going to go ahead and hit it under the broiler for a second. Essentially, what I'm doing is making a chicken parmesan. That's, that's basically what I'm doing. But I'm going to brown. I like the chicken because I know if I put it in the oven it's not going to be have them nice crispy edges. I like my food to have a bit of a crisp to it if you haven't figured it out already. I do like a little bit of a crisp on my food. So I'm going to go ahead and crisp these up in the skillet first. And then I'm going to lay it right over the top of the asparagus. Okay. So that's essentially what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm making a faux chicken parmesan. Uh, if I didn't say earlier, it's a little bit after three right now. I finished those uh, crab and uh, cream cheese rolls. It was about 10 minutes to one by the time I got that all done. So I'm going to go ahead and get these in the oven, get them going. And when they're done, I'll come back and show you guys the finished product. Okay, bye. Alrighty guys, there's all the chicken on top of the asparagus. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to dump the mazzetti over the top. Get a spoon, spread that around. got some parmesan I'm going to sprinkle over the top and I'm going to cover it and then I'm going to throw it in the oven for probably 30 minutes and then I'll pull it out go ahead and throw some parmesan cheese on the top not parmesan I apologize uh, provolone and then I'll come back in and show you. Here's the finished product. Grab my spatula here. This looks really good. Let me get down in here. Make sure I get some of them spare grasses under there. I had it in the oven about 30 minutes. Oh, yum. At 350. Oh, look at that. I... Then I uncovered it. Put the parm, up. Oh, I keep saying parm, provolone cheese on top. Hit it under the broiler, low broiler, for like 10 minutes. And there it is. And there's no way I'm going to try to eat that for you guys right now. It is mega hot. I probably won't come in this weekend, but I will definitely do uh, let you know how it tasted. So have a great weekend, guys, and I will see you soon.